Hey everybody, David Young here with Drone Launch Academy. I wanted to tell you real quick about the drone license recertification process. Now, if you were in the initial wave of drone pilots that got their license right when the FAA released the new Part 107 rules back in August of 2016, that means that your license is coming up for recertification or it's time for you to take the recurrent knowledge exam that the FAA is coming out with. So let's answer the first question. Do you have to take the FAA recurrent knowledge exam for your remote pilot certificate? Well, if you are not a Part 61 pilot certificate holder, so if you don't fly regular manned aircraft, then yes, you do have to take the recurrent knowledge exam. Or if you've taken the initial Part 107 exam since you passed it the first time, that's when your clock starts for your recurrent knowledge exam. So it's 24 calendar months from the last time that you passed either the initial exam or another recurrent knowledge exam. So for instance, if you passed your initial exam August 15th, 2016, that means your next exam is due by August 31st, 2018. You have to pass before that date. Otherwise, your remote pilot certificate is no longer considered valid and it's lapsed and you're not a remote pilot during that time period. So what does this recertification process look like? Well, it's not like when you first got your drone license where you had to go to the FAA's IACRA website and submit an application and go through this kind of awkward process and background check and all that stuff. You've already done that stuff the first time. So this time, all you have to do is take the exam, pass the exam, and that's it. No other paperwork, no other nonsense. It's pretty simple. Now some details about the exam. You have to get a 70 to pass, just like the initial exam. You have about 90 minutes to take this one, but it doesn't cover as much. You have to be 16 years old to take it. You need to bring your original remote pilot certificate, so the little card that they gave you in the mail when you got your initial remote pilot certificate. And you also will need to bring some type of photo ID that has a signature, your photo, and then your most current address. So that could be your driver's license, your passport, or some similar ID like that. So this is really important. What does the recurrent knowledge exam cover? Well, it's a lot simpler than your test that you took for the Part 107 exam. This one only covers the regulations for Part 107, airport operations, sectional charts, and then it gets a little bit into aeronautical decision-making, emergency procedures, and maintenance and inspection. Now, the initial exam covered things like weather, loading and balance, and got into a lot of things like that. This is really trimmed down just to make sure that you're current and up-to-date on the most recent regulatory and sectional chart developments. So where do you go to take this exam? Well, you go to the same testing center that you took your initial exam at. So that's gonna be CATS or PSI. Those companies have actually merged together, so it's CATS or PSI the same. You can go to catstest.com and you can call them there or get a hold of them online and you can find a testing center or you can call them, they'll find one for you. They'll hook up with your availability and you can pay over the phone. They're usually really helpful and very good about getting you scheduled quickly. How much does it cost? Well, the exam is $150, just like the initial exam, $150 per attempt. So make sure that you get it on the first time. But if you pass the first exam, hopefully you won't have a problem passing the recurrent knowledge test. Just study up, refresh on all the airspace, sectional charts, and Part 107 regulations. Either below this video in a blog post or in a link, we'll put what percent of each topic matter makes up the exam. If you're looking for some study resources, Drone Launch Academy has a FAA Part 107 video study course. We got practice questions, videos, written lectures, everything you need to know to ace the Part 107 exam. You can also use that to study for this recurrent knowledge exam. Just pick the pieces that apply to the current knowledge exam. Now, if you are already in the course, you have lifetime access, so you have no problem. If you wanna get in, you can join. You can use the promo code RECERT50, R-E-C-E-R-T 50 for $50 off. Or we have our Part 107 digital flashcards, which allow you to go over all the key information you need to know for the exam quickly to kind of drive home the key points. There's no videos, no practice questions with those, but it really helps you kind of bring together and remember everything you need to know, uh, make sure that that stuff's concrete in your mind. Those are $39. There's a link for those in the post below. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, and I'll see you next time.